Driving along I-440 in Raleigh, there's no way to get across the interstate between two busy choke points for traffic at Six Forks Road in North Hills and then Wake Forest Road in Midtown. And right now the city is drawing up plans for this new bridge across the Beltline. WREL's Matt Tallhelm shows us the three proposed locations for that crossing and the neighborhoods that would be affected. All three of those proposed routes for the bridge would bring traffic out here to Barrett Road from all that new development where you see those cranes on the other side of the interstate. It's a wonderful neighborhood of businesses. Cynthia Curran owns four office condos in Barrett Square. It's sort of a pocket back here. Backing up to the Beltline with the steady sound of traffic zooming along. Now Curran's location puts her building in the path of a proposed bridge over the interstate. The bridge would come right through here, through Barrett Square office condos. That's the first of three routes the city's considering for the I-440 crossing. It would dump all the bridge traffic onto Barrett Drive, where the office condos are today. Alternative two would build a bridge to a roundabout for traffic to go to Barrett or Wake Town Drive. The third option would build a straight road with intersections to both drives on this tree-covered lot just inside the Beltline. Right now, Wake Town Drive dead ends into it on one side and Barrett Drive borders it on the other. And people walking, biking, driving have an alternative to get around, especially for the short local trips. The bridge would connect all this new development rising along St. Albans Drive to the other side of the interstate. The project was the top priority in the 2020 walkable Midtown plan that Larry Helfont and the Neighborhood of Citizens Advisory Council helped put together. We're not gonna stop development um, uh, it's continuing in every open lot around here. Uh, there are so many going on that are going to occur before the city spends the money on the roadways. Curran hopes the city chooses one of the two routes that doesn't destroy what's already here. It's a much better choice not only to save these businesses and these existing buildings, but also because the design of the traffic the cost to build the bridge is estimated at $18.5 million on the low end. Right now, the city does not have any funding set aside for it. Matt Tallhelm, WREL News, Raleigh. And here's the deal the city wants to hear from you. Right now, you can take an online survey on RaleighNC.gov to tell the city which route for the bridge you think would be best. And that survey is open until the end of the month under the Projects tab of the website.